Times like this, I wish I could like spin on my chair. But alas, <clears throat> it's a step stool. Hey, my voice is almost back, so that's cool. Welcome to the channel. I'm SB Mitch. You can give me a follow on social media stuff. You can subscribe to the channel for more beater box related videos. Or actually, this Sunday is Halloween, so come back for the Halloween extravaganza collection video thing. I still have to film and think of a skit to do before it with the banana people, but if you've never seen this channel before, then that sentence was probably extremely confusing to you. Hello, pals. Hey, look at me doing a recap on a Monday. Uh, I used to do them every other Monday, but then I just kind of got lazy. Err, lazy err. <sighs> today's box recap Monday, basically what today's video is about and every other Monday's video is about, or every other Monday's video is about, is a, a kind of in-depth view of a box that has sold all the way through. And we see what the estimated stuff from the original video is and put it up against what the actual sales were just to see how close or good or poorly I marketed and sold the box. Today's box is a pretty recent one. It's from September, I wrote it down, hold on. This box is from September 7th, September. September 7th and the video went live on September the 10th. This was a $975 beater box from Soul Supremacy. And in truly overdramatic childish SB Mitch fashion, the title of this box's video contained the phrase, too many Yeezys, because there were three Adidas's in the box, which is not even half of the box. Luckily for me, most of this seven pair box sold on the Goat app, so I didn't have to deal with seeing them on the site or seeing them in my storage room for very long, very long at all, actually. The one pair that didn't sell on Goat were the Grape Fives, and they sold for like 33 bucks, so. Pfft. Uh, as I said about them not being here long, the last pair from this box did sell September 30th, which is a mere three weeks after I actually got the box. So the turnaround time on this box is extremely impressive, especially considering the problems I have moving Yeezys for anywhere near market value. So let's take a quick trip back and see what was in this seven pair, $975 Soul Supremacy Beater box. Enjoy. Size nine, Nike Flyknit Racer. Hmm. 2013, what's up? These are, I think these are Oreo flying racers. They are used um, very lightly though. Size 14, Air Force One 07 LV8. Uh, so this is quite possibly the most Air Force One, Air Force One I've ever gotten. Uh, they're dead stock too. It's a size 14 pair of, I wanna say these are the New York versus New York. A red Nike box, we got an Air Max 98 and a size US Men's 11. Uh, these are worn, but they're mm, pretty okay shape. This is the South Beach Air Max 98, I think. I'm going based on the little pink aglets there. Mm. Yeah, there's three 350s in here. This, this one looks like a small one. It's a size seven and a half, 350 V2. Based on the colorway, it's probably zebras. That is exactly what they are. They are worn, but they are in good shape. Poof. There you go. Size seven and a half. Zebra 350 V2s. Another 350 V2. This one is a size 12. They're worn, pretty decent shape. We got a pair of the red stripes. Um, this is a colorway that people have wanted to have restocked a bunch of times. Two more in here, and this is a 350 as well. It's a size 13. This one looks like a cream. Yes, that is correct. I think, right? Or are these sesames? Oh, they're just creams. Creams get discolored over, over time, so no surprise there. Size 13, 350 V2 in the cream colorway. It's supposed to be all white or cream-ish. Size nine. This is Jordan 5 Retro. Not what I was expecting. They're worn. This is the 2013 release of the Great Fives. It does not look like there are lace locks, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, even though the 750s that we got in this box were probably some of the better colorways of any 350s to ever release, zebras, creams, and red stripe 350s, I have this like bit 
that I'm fully committed to on the channel where I complain and whine about getting anything Adidas just because just because I'm a big fat baby that likes to cry a lot but three of the seven shoes in this box were actually Adidas's. I also tried a different approach because of the problems I have with Yeezys and Adidas in that I put a lower market value on them in the video to see if they would move and, and coincidentally because of the lower market value on the video that means I sold them for less than what I would have generally done in the past and it was effective. The estimated gross sales on this box totaled out to $1,550 giving this box an estimated net return of $418.57. Real quick too, and there's a lot of people asking me about how I get that number. It's really easy. I use what I call the GOAT formula, which is GOAT takes 9.5% and $5. And then there's a 2.9% processing fee that PayPal takes away. It's not GOAT that does that, it's PayPal that does it. So the total is basically 12.4% minus $5. That's how I get those numbers. Anyways, as I said, that net that net profit of $418.57 gave us an estimated return on investment of 40.44%. Pretty good. Let's bring in our good friend, the spreadsheet. I don't have any friends. After all these piggies sold, the actual gross sale figure for this box totaled out to $1,598, which will be addressed in the wrap up, don't worry. Then after taking out costs like the box itself, shipping, fees, etc., we're left with an actual net profit of $349.04, or an actual return on investment of 33.72%, which is only 7% lower than the estimate, which is pretty good and a little surprising considering it was in the box. Now that being said, I personally think this box overperformed, and here's three reasons why I think that happened. Number one. <laughs> no one talks like that. Number one. It's the first reason. Uh, how do I say this? I put lower values in the video than the ask asking prices on GOAT, I guess, if that makes sense. And so basically, a lot of the pairs sold for more on GOAT than what I valued them at in the video, namely the Flyknit Trainers, the Air Max 98 sold for like 20 bucks more than everything. So all the pairs in the video, except for one, sold at a higher price than the value I placed on them in the video, if that makes sense. So basically what it comes down to is listing them higher than what I think they should go for on the Goat app and seeing what happens. And they actually sold for, most of them sold for more than what I value them at, which just only really proves one thing is that a sneaker's value is extremely subjective. There's no right or wrong answer when it comes to the value of a shoe. Value is in the eye of the beholder. You put that on a coffee mug. <laughs> Number two, and this is something we talk about every single video. <laughs> Look, I'm a 16 year old on TikTok. Um, Estimates versus actuals. The difference of 7% between the actual and estimated ROIs isn't really anything that hasn't happened before, but because this box sold so quickly, it's definitely worth noticing. I don't necessarily think it's it happened because of anything I did. Honestly, any of these boxes that turn a profit isn't really anything I do strategically because there's really not much strategy in this in most of these boxes because they just kind of sell themselves because of how Soul Supremacy values shoes. And it just so happened that this one worked out quite nicely. So there you go. Number three, more like Wadidas. That sounds like if Adidas did a collaboration with Nintendo and like did like an like a Wario themed shoe, but it was like an evil themed shoe. I mean, let's face it, if Nintendo did a collaboration with Adidas, I'm sure Adidas would botch that, just like every other collaboration they've ruined that was a cool concept. Anyways, I'm, I'm sure as you've gathered from this video and other videos and probably just the last five sentences that I've said, I complain about Adidas nonstop because I have such a hard time moving them for market. When in actuality, just proven by this box that I'm the problem. I'm overvaluing Yeezys, which is why they don't move for me. I mean, let's be realistic. Yeezys are not good like beater shoes because number one, the heel drag on them is, it happens so easily. Just the overall outsole wear, they're just not, a, they're not really a, 350s do not really have a rugged outsole. They wear away very easily. And the upper can rip really easily too. And let's face it, some of you ghouls that wear your 
Yeezys with no socks and make me have to wash your insoles for 25 minutes at a time. Doesn't really help that case either. But basically what it comes down to is that the problem that I have with Adidas is in my own head because, I mean, it, it, it's really a self-inflicted lack of knowledge about the brand and the trends that are surrounding it, I guess. And really the coinciding stubborn unwillingness to change that. Plus it would ruin like the whole like, old man vibe of the channel with my brand loyalty to Nike, who, let's face it, has zero clue who I am. It probably will never give any amount of Fs about what I think of Nike or Adidas or anything in general, because who cares? Brands don't care about you, so stop caring about brands. So yeah, this box did well, even with me trying to sabotage myself because of my opinion of Adidas. And I mean, let's face it, the only reason I constantly grape on Adidas is because number one, the people that love Adidas are kind of weird, especially on Twitter. But everyone that's like loyal to a brand is, do you just look dumb, especially on social media? Nike doesn't care about you. Adidas doesn't care about you. Pretty much the only brands that care about you are small brands. So remember, buy stuff from small brands and independent people because they're the ones that actually need the money. Nike and Adidas don't need your money. Uh, okay, before this video gets off the rails, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. We'll see you soon. This Friday's box will be live at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then we have the collection video this Sunday. Till then, take care of each other. Remember, keep sneakers fun because they're supposed to be fun. Bye. What is that? That's not a wave. Bye.